Hi, this is Dr. Bernstein with another session of Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes University. Uh, today, uh, I interrupted my usual sequence of sessions because something came up in the scientific literature that is very relevant to people with diabetes. It appeared in uh, the December 13th edition of the journal Neuron and uh, was reported by a group of researchers at the University of Southern California. The title of the article is Brain's Protective Barrier Disintegrates as People Age. Now, this sounds uh, sort of very scientific, but it's uh, uh, pretty easy to understand. Uh, these people point out that the blood-brain barrier, the uh, interface between the bloodstream and the brain, which protects the brain from toxic substances, uh, is made up of cells called pericytes. You may have heard me mention this term in an earlier session where we were talking about complications of diabetes and uh, insulin receptors and so on. Uh, the pericytes are the outer cells of capillaries, small blood vessels. And uh, they, they're like an exoskeleton. They're the outside skeleton of the capillaries and uh, protect them from leakage. And the uh, capillaries in the brain that are supplying uh, blood to the brain are selective in that they prevent toxic substances from coming in. Now, here this uh, study shows that the pericytes one by one disappear or become leaky as people age. What they neglect to mention, uh, probably because they don't realize it, is that pericytes are what I called before aldose reductase cells. These are cells that will allow the entry of glucose even without the presence of insulin. Glucose will diffuse freely into these cells where it gets converted by an enzyme called aldose reductase into sorbitol. Sorbitol is an osmotic substance that attracts water. The principal uh, ingredient in X-lax, the laxative, is sorbitol because it will draw water into the intestines and loosen the stool. Well, aldose reductase cells allow glucose to come in, the glucose gets converted to sorbitol, draws in water, and if nothing is done to reduce the glucose in the bloodstream near that cell, uh, within uh, two weeks, uh, it gets converted to fructose, but if blood sugars remain high and more sorbitol keeps coming in, uh, so much water will be attracted into the cell that it'll swell up and eventually burst. So this is a good way of killing parasites, just have a high enough blood sugar for a long enough period of time. Now, you can actually see this parasite loss uh, if you're a physician, with the help of an ophthalmoscope, which looks at the retina of the eye. And uh, you will see pericyte loss in the form of little red dots called microaneurysms. When a pericyte is lost, remember it's microscopic in size, the underlying endothelial uh, part of the vessel is no longer protective and protected and it starts to stretch and blow up like a balloon. And uh, it blows up so much that it eventually becomes visible as a little dot with the ophthalmoscope. And uh, uh, many of you have heard the 
uh, ophthalmologists tell you, oh, you have only a few microaneurysms. These represent loss of parasites. And you get these same little things uh, in the brain, in particular around the hippocampus, which is the part of the brain that's uh, responsible for processing uh, short-term memory, recent memory of recent events. So here we have a lot of pericyte leakage uh, visualized with, I believe, MRI scans, and they show you pictures in the article, color pictures, uh, of this leakage. And it's occurring around the hippocampus and explains the memory loss that we see in people with Alzheimer's disease. Now, you've heard from prior sessions of Diabetes University that people with elevated blood sugars uh, develop impairment of memory, IQ, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And this, we now know, is one of the mechanisms for this impairment, namely high blood sugars, aldose reductase parasites that in effect uh, balloon and blow up and uh, eventually disappear, uh, causing leakage uh, uh, of material into and out of the brain. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, stay tuned for the next session. Thanks for listening. The bulk of what you've heard on this video uh, appears in my book, Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes Solution, which is available at uh, most internet and local bookstores. It is published by the Hachette Book Group. I'd like to remind you that we have monthly free teleseminars every month at the site AskDrBernstein.net. Doctor is spelt D-R, so AskDrBernstein.net for a free monthly teleseminar. Uh, sign up a day or two in advance so that you get a reserved seat. Good luck and thanks for listening.